literally, yeah. literally. Which brings me to the uh, topic of practice, all right? Marcus, does the automotive industry have a culture of practice? Sometimes. <laughs> How about absolutely not, okay? We may do some walk-arounds once in a while, okay? Um, does the automotive industry have a culture of practice? <laughs> Hell no. Lavelle, look, you know what practice is? Practice is sticking somebody, somebody sticking a camera in your face and ask, asking you to do, to role play a skill. Okay, that's practice. You know, did you play any uh, sports in high school? Did you play anything? Yes, sir. What did you play? Basketball and football. Okay. So on uh, Friday night you played football, right? For every hour you played in front of a crowd, how many hours did you practice football? Eight. Eight? So eight to one. Okay. Basketball you play uh, all sorts of nights. Um, how many uh, hours of basketball practice would you, uh, how many hours would you spend practicing for every hour you played in front of a eight, crowd? Eight to ten. You know, I've had a number of professional athletes ex-professional athletes in my seminars over the over the years. In fact, I've got one uh, one dealer in uh, Virginia who was an NFL lineman for 13 years. He played at Marshall University and then he went to the uh, Indianapolis Colts. And I asked him, I said, you know, for every hour he played in high school on Friday nights, on Saturday afternoons in college, and on Sunday afternoons in the NFL, how often did you practice? He goes, for every hour I played, I practiced 40 hours. Okay? You guys are in a commission world. There is only one place paid. It's first place. If you don't get the customer's business, how much money do you make? Zero. Zero. You win or you lose. So you sh if ever there was a, uh, a profession that should command practice, it should be the world of commission sales, especially automotive sales because there's car dealerships on every single corner. Here's the good news. What you help people buy is the most popular product in the history of mankind. That's the good news. The bad news is there's lots of different places to buy those products. So you need to get good at your, your profession. Practice your profession. You're going to have to study it. You're going to have to find people who can teach it to you. You got a good management team here. I'm very impressed with, uh, I spent time with them last week. I'm very impressed with all of them. But I know that a sales manager has only got so much time. They, got, they have a pretty multifaceted and multitask oriented job, don't they, John? Yeah. They don't have a lot of time to train you. I get back to what I said earlier. Ralph, you're going to have to train yourself. Okay. Now, 